Hey everyone, welcome to today's piano lesson. If you watched uh, last week's lesson and you feel like you can play all of those songs confidently with no mistakes, then it is time to move on to your next lesson today. We're gonna need our theory book, our piano book, and our technique book today, and we will need our pencil. So let's go take a look at the keyboard because we're learning about the white keys and the musical alphabet today. Go ahead and open up your piano books to page 14 and 15. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the white key names and the musical alphabet. So the musical alphabet goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, stop, start over again with A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, stop. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, stop. Now the way that I like to help students find where those notes are is to find your set of two black keys. And that's the doghouse. And what lives in a doghouse? A dog! And dog starts with D. So this one's D. And so just like when we were finding our sets of two and sets of three, we can go all the way down to the lowest one and we can find all the Ds in the sets of two. D, D, D. Find all of those Ds. And then I want to find the note before D, which is C, the note after D, which is E, and find C, D, E, all the way up the keyboard. C, D, E, 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 C, D, E. And then from here, I want to do it backwards and go down to my low notes. E, D, C. E, D, C, E, D, C, E, D, C. And just go all the way down. Oops. <laughs> Everyone plays the wrong note sometimes, even teachers do. Now we found C, D, E. Let's add a couple more. What comes after E in the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. C, D, E, F, G. So these five notes are gonna be really important. We're gonna use those the most. C, D, E, F, G. So let's go all the way down and let's find, and you can even play this with one finger. C, D, E, F, G. Or you could use all five fingers. C, D, E, F, G. C, D, E, F, G. C, D, E, Them. All the way up. Last one here. Now, just like we did with C, D, E, let's go down. G, F, E, D, C. G, F, E, D, C. Keep going down. This is just helping you practice over and over. You're going to get so quick. C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, there you go. So if we put our hands here, sitting right in the center, like we talked about at our first lesson, C, D, E, F, G, and my left hand plays C, D, E, F, G. If I just squish those down, I have these two notes in between my right hand and my left hand, and that's A and B. Now we're not going to use A and B very much for a while. We'll use them more later. But we're using these keys, and we're going to call that C position. We want to know which ones A and B are, but we won't be using them too much. Now if you look at page 15 in your book, it'll show you A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, where they are. Um, and it gives you some other little tricks, like F, is the one on the left side of the set of three. B is the one on the right side. And then now your set of two, C is the one on the left. E is the one on the right. All different ways to remember all of those notes. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Start over, C. Okay, so there's your musical alphabet. 
So let's play our first song in C position. This is on page 16 and it's called Stepping Up and Down. We have a few things on the page I want to talk about first before we play. Playing legato. Legato means to play smoothly connecting the tones. To play legato, one finger lifts when another finger plays the next tone. It's just smooth. Think about making a peanut butter sandwich or putting frosting on a cake. You just want to smooth it out. We don't want to hear it sounding choppy. That's not legato. So we have a C position chart. If you're forgetting where to put your fingers, sometimes we need a little refresher and that's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Squish them all down and you should see A and B. That's me, Anna Banana, right in the middle. Our practice directions in that little yellow box. Number one says clap and count the rhythm aloud. So let's do that. Let's say short for quarter notes, long for half notes and whole notes. Here we go. One, two, clapping, go. Short, 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 long, long. Short, 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 long. Second line, short, 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 long, long. Short, 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 long, and off. We have a double bar line without two dots. So what does that mean? It means the end, don't repeat. Number two, find the correct hand position. We already talked about that. That's C position. Squish them down, squish them down. What's in the middle? A and B. A and banana. Number three, play and sing the finger numbers aloud. Here we go. Our first song in C position. Right hand. C, D, E, F, G, 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 F, E, D, C. Left hand. C, D, E, F, G, 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 F, E, D, C, and off. I realized halfway through that that I was singing the note names, which was actually uh, number four. So let's do it again, and this time let's sing the finger numbers. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. hand. Five, four, three, two, one, 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 two, three, four, five, and off. Number five says play and count the rhythms aloud. I'm going to skip that step because I feel like by this point we've got the rhythms down. Number six, play and sing the words. So now our notes are going to kind of go on autopilot so we can shift our focus to singing these words. Here we go. Step right up to G, then back again to C. Keep your fingers curved, please. Play quite musically. There it is, everyone. You played your first song in C position. Great job. All right, let's open up our technique books now to page two. This is the first song that you've played in the technique book. We won't be using performance this week. We're going to open up technique. So your technique book will be little exercises, not beautiful songs, but just little exercises that help you with your technique. So find C position again. C, D, E, F, G. C, D, E, F, G. Squish them all down, and right there in the middle you have A and B and a banana. Okay, C warm up. We don't have lyrics here. We have note names and finger numbers. Our practice directions in the yellow box say number one, play evenly with curved fingers. Number two, play legato, which means smoothly connecting the tones. Number three, play slowly at first. Play faster when you're ready. Number four, play loud or soft. And then you can also follow those same practice directions um, for some any song that you do. So here we go, C warm up. 
I'm going to sing the finger numbers first. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. Repeat. Now I'll sing the note names. C, D, E. Hey, let's open up those theory books. We actually have several pages of theory today, just because what we're doing takes up a lot of space. So we're gonna practice the musical alphabet um, and play one more song out of our theory book. So let's open up to page seven, the musical alphabet. So here it is. We have the doghouse. That's our set of two black keys right here. And there's D, C, D, E, F, G. That's our C position. And then you have A and B and a banana right there. How many letters are there in the music alphabet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we start over again with A. So we only have the seven letters. When you play and say the music alphabet forward, you go up the keyboard to the right. So let's write the musical alphabet out. And that's just how we say it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. In music, it's important to be able to say our groups of notes backwards too. We never know what order we're going to need to use them in. So let's say and write out the musical alphabet backwards, starting with G. F, E, D, C, B, A. And you might want to just practice that this week, just saying it backwards. Maybe you can even say the whole alphabet backwards. So that's a fun challenge. Number 20, write the music alphabet forward two times on this keyboard and then play it. So we have our A written in. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Start over. A. B, C, D, E, F, G. And a good way to check yourself, find your sets of two black keys. Is the white key in between those D? That's a good way to check. Okay, then play it. So open up your keyboard, find A. Here's my A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Start over. A. B, C, D, E, F, G. There we go. Number 21, we're going to write our music alphabet backwards two times and then play that. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Start over with G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Let's play that now. We're going to find G. Here's our G. F, E, D, C, B, A. Start over. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. There we go. That's our whole page seven. Let's flip our page now. And we're going to practice writing in each note. So this looks like a lot of work on the next two pages, but it really just takes up a lot of space, like I would mentioned before. Number 22, find all the A's. So we have our set of three black keys, and it's to the right of the center. So I find my set of three, I find the middle one, and to the right is A. 
set of three, middle one to the right is A. Set of three, middle one to the right is A. All right, number 23, find all the Bs. I find my set of three and it's on the right side. Set of three, outside, B. Set of three, outside, right, B. Set of three, outside, right, B. Okay. Number 24, we're going to find all the C's. So um, it's to the left of my set of two. So I find my set of two, left, that's C. Set of two, left, C. Set of two, left, C. Set of two, left, C. See how fast we do this? Page nine, number 25, find all the D's. This is the easiest one to find. It's the dog house. Set of two, 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 dog house. Easy beans. Number 26, find all the E's. I would suggest finding the dog house again, going one to the right. Dog house, right, E. Dog house, right, E. Dog house, right, E. Dog house, right, E. Number 27 is find all the F's. Find your set of three and that's to the left. F and left rhyme. Three, left, F. Three, left, F. Three, left, F. And our last note, number 28, is G. Find your set of three and it's to the left of center. Three, center, left, it's G. Three, center, left, it's G. Three, center, left, is G. Now, every time you find one of those on your page, you can also go to your keyboard and play those and just practice them like we did when we looked at the piano book. Okay, we have two more pages. Page 10. This one's pretty fun. We are going to find some of our white keys and make some words out of them. Space flight game. In this game, write the word that has all the capital letters on the keyboard. All right, here we go. This is Starship Commander Fletcher. He and his crew travel far into outer space. Their ship's name is Ace. Ace is spelled A-C-E. So let's find those notes. Where do we find A? Find the set of three flat keys to the right of center is A, and then B, then C, then D, then E. Ace, A-C-E. Commander Fletcher's mission is to find the alien creatures who are on a distant planet and locked in a cage. Cage is spelled C-A-G-E. So find your C first, and then go up and find an A. And then you have to go up a lot farther to find a G. And then the very last note is an E. Use the pages you did before to check your work to find those if you need help. Each creature has weird arms and feet and a wild expression on its face. Face is spelled F-A-C-E. So our first note here is F, and then an A, and then a C, and then an E. But Commander Fletcher understands that their yelling means they want to be fed. Fed is spelled F-E-D. So let's find F. We're going to have to go up pretty far to find our E, and then again, another really big jump to our D, so that one's really spread out. Don't let it trick you. Once fed, the creatures are brought aboard the starship Ace for the long trip back to Earth. For outstanding work, Commander Fletcher and his men are given a special medal, which they wear like a badge, and badge is spelled B-A-D-G-E. Oh boy, there's a lot of notes. Let's find it. B, A, D, G, and E. And then at the bottom it says mission complete. Great job. Page 11, this is the last thing that we'll do today. C position. We're gonna just review the notes in C position. C, D, E, F, G in our left hand. So let's write those. C, D, E, F, G. And guess what notes are in our right hand? C, D, E, F, G. 
Now remember that there's A and B in between for Anna Banana. Write the letters backwards, because in music it's important for us to be able to do things forwards and backwards. So G, F, E, D, C. And again, G, F, E, D, and C. All right, this is the last thing that we'll do today in theory. This has been a very long theory lesson, but it is important stuff. Stars at night. We're going to write in our bar lines. So it says bar line at the top. Just write them in. Remember our bar lines divide our music into measures. A bar and a measure are the same thing. So you can call them measure lines. Someone says, sing me a few bars. That's what that means. Then I'm going to do my double bar line. I'm just going to draw kind of a thick rectangle for the big one and the regular one. And then I'm going to put two dots. And then we're going to play it. So open up your piano and find your C position. Right hand. C, D, E, F, G, F, E, F, E, D, E, F, G, left. C. was a long theory lesson, but you hung in there and you got it all done. Great job. Thanks for joining me again for today's piano lesson. Practice the three songs that we learned today a little bit each day. And when you can play them confidently with no mistakes, it'll be time to move on to the next lesson and learn something new. I'll see y'all next time.